An Introduction to Insect Symbolism Today, insects are quite tiny creatures. In comparison with the fossilized insects of enormous size that have been found from the Paleozoic era, including giant dragonflies with wingspans of 55 to 70 centimeters, 22 to 28 inches. From an evolutionary point of view, insects are there and indeed have co-evolved to pollinate plants. Thus no insect rests on a leaf in a state of angst, wondering about its purpose and destiny. It knows it. And because there are and have been an enormous number of flowering plants, there are an enormous number of types of insect. The most diverse insect groups appear to have co-evolved with flowering plants. Very specific species of insect have acquired their own mystic symbolism in the past. For example, scarab beetles in ancient Egypt, Greece and some shamanic cultures grasshoppers, jacardas in the ancient Chinese culture, honey ants in Australian Aboriginal culture, the praying mantis, which San Bushman of the Kalahari revered for its symbolic shape and its zen-like patience in waiting. But insects as a group have little mystic symbolic meaning. So this video provides an introduction to the sorts of insect species that do, for which there are or will be videos. We already have a video on bees, for example, their honey and the beehive, as well as another video on moths which have their own perhaps surprising symbolic meaning. And a video on the caterpillar, chrysalis and butterfly. And there will be more. As we plan videos on, for example, beetles, including the scarab beetle, dragonflies, as well as grasshoppers and crickets. As you will see, however, mystic symbolism is strangely uninterested in insects as a whole, despite their fascinating shapes and iridescent colours and the sheer number of types. It is even stranger when one considers how very apt they would be as a symbol. But in dream symbolism, they do have a most important place. And we will look at this shortly. What is an insect? Insects have a chitinous exoskeleton. Their skeleton is on the outside and made from chitin. Insect growth is constrained by this inelastic exoskeleton, so they molt, a bit like a snake sheds its skin. See the snake video. The immature stages often differ from the adults in structure, 
habit and habitat and can include a passive pupal stage in those groups that undergo four-stage metamorphosis. Insects that undergo three-stage metamorphosis lack a pupal stage and adults develop through a series of nymphal stages. Whether development is three or four stage, metamorphosis occurs, and thus they could be a symbol of rebirth. See video, robins and rebirth. Furthermore, nearly all insects hatch from eggs. See cosmic egg video. A three-part body, head, thorax and abdomen, could have symbolically been used for the three levels of the mind subconscious, conscious and higher spirit. Insects have three pairs of jointed legs so six legs in total meaning that spiders with eight legs mentioned in our video The Order of Creation are in a category of their own. They have huge bulging compound eyes. And wild, bulging, staring eyes were always the actual and symbolic indicator of spiritual experience, ecstasy. And insects have one pair of antennae, which look like horns. See video horns. And indeed their horns are most obvious in beetles like the staghorn beetle. the rhinoceros beetle. And the delicate longhorn beetle. They can often fly, have wings, and some can even walk on water. For example, water striders and pond skaters. So why are they not a mystic symbol? Numbers, numbers, numbers. There are more than a million described species of insect, and as a group at the moment, they represent more than half of all known living organisms. Furthermore, if we now widen the net to simply include extant species, the total number rises to an estimated 6 to 10 million species, meaning that over 90% of animal life forms on Earth are insects. And despite man's apparent war against them, they are found practically everywhere on Earth. So it is their sheer number that has defied the symbolists and the rather pathetic little constellation Musca Australis Apis bears witness to the fact that mystics didn't even attempt to symbolise this many little creatures. Insects and Pharmaceuticals First an example from a website set up to help people with elderly relatives. My 72 year old mom is having hallucinations and visions. The day after having knee replacement surgery, she became very disoriented, seeing ants on her food. It's a very frightening thing to see your mom like this. She was fine before surgery, with no early dementia or Alzheimer's. Doctors are now trying to tweak her drugs, believing this is the cause. The drugs Deeper Coat and Limitacol sick, were given to her and she has never been on these drugs. I hope and pray this is a temporary and my mom returns to us. Whether it is hallucinations 
visions or dreams. Insects are the symbol used for poisoning by chemicals, usually pharmaceuticals. The Daily Mail, Wednesday, June the 9th, 2021. Mother of two, Mrs. T from Melrose, Scotland, became convinced she had insects living under her skin and clawed at her arms to try and get them out, becoming extremely distressed to the extent that her doctor prescribed Valium. BMJ case reports revealed. However, it was established that her condition was caused by the drug atomoxetine given to her for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. After being taken off the atomoxetine, her symptoms stopped and she gradually stopped believing the infestation had happened. Six months later, Mrs. T has made a full recovery. Atomoxetine sold under the brand name Stratra is the 162nd most commonly prescribed medication in the United States with more than 3 million prescriptions. Wikipedia Side effects of atomoxetine include abdominal pain, loss of appetite, nausea, exhaustion, dizziness, angioedema, liver problems, stroke, psychosis, heart problems, aggression, and suicide. Atomoxetine is a norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor and is believed to work by... So much for science. Prescribing now is apparently based on belief systems. If you are taking or have taken a pharmaceutical which is acting on your system negatively, then our composer presents us with a symbol, scary insects, to hammer it home. And because insects fluttering and crawling on us are generally regarded as unpleasant, this is the symbol always used. The more dangerous the pharmaceutical, the more demonic looking the insect is and often the more aggressive it can be. He health me. My doctor prescribed clonidine, 0.3 milligrams twice a day for my high blood pressure a year ago. I had been taking enalapril for 10 years and developed a cough that wouldn't stop. My doctor wanted to send me to a specialist, so I started looking into side effects and a cough was one of them. I was the one that told him. When I first started taking the clonidine, I was having major hallucinations, where first one thing would shoot out of the wall towards me, and then thirty things, insects, spiders, shapes. The more tired I was, the worse it got. I'm fifty-eight. I couldn't walk without holding on to something. When I took it in the morning, I needed a two-hour nap 45 minutes after taking it. Makes it hard when you're working with a classroom of 25 kids. I couldn't keep in my lane driving. Yikes! So now I'm just taking it once at night. Not quite so many hallucinations. And keeping my blood pressure down. I can't live my life with stuff coming out of the wall at me. What about all the elderly with new meds that can't really explain why they are going a little off? We have to be proactive. Clonidine is a pharmaceutical that is able to cross the blood-brain barrier and crosses the placental barrier. According to Wikipedia and eHealthMe, it is used to treat high blood pressure, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, sick, drug withdrawal, alcohol, opiates or smoking, menopausal flushing, 
insomnia, post-traumatic stress disorder, stress and anxiety, Tourette syndrome, diarrhea, spasticity and certain pain conditions. Again, according to Wikipedia, common side effects include dry mouth, dizziness, headaches and sleepiness. Severe side effects include hallucinations, heart arrhythmias and confusion. If rapidly stopped, withdrawal effects occur. Clonidine was patented in 1961 and came into medical use in 1966. It is available as a generic medication. In 2018, it was the 75th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States with more than 11 million prescriptions.